and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make um homemade tomato paste um for your cooking um jello fries stew and the rest of it so to make this tomato paste i have my tomato seed um different um species so after i'm washing and cleaning it then i'm going to cut it So after cutting my tomato um, seed, the next I'm going to wash and peel my beetroot. Um, beetroot um, will give it the red color, just like the one, the store-bought um, tin tomatoes. So I'm going to cut this, and at this point I'm going to put it in my blender and start blending. I'm going to blend the, the um, cut um, tomato, the one I just finished cutting, and also with... Um, the beetroot so after i'm blending it um this point with my strainer i'm going to strain it and straining it will help um um, filter the seed um, in a case you don't want the seed in just like the um, store-bought tomato paste you notice that there are no seed in it so that's what I'm trying to achieve at this point so I'm going to strain it um, at this point this is the seed that I got from it so I'm going to keep it aside and do same for the rest of the tomato so guys this is what I got um, after straining the tomato now I'm going to pour it into a cooking pot and now after pouring it in my cooking pot I'm going to cook it and be patient with this process I'm I'm going to cook it once it start boiling I'm not going to let the water dry out com completely so I'm after once it start boiling then I will show you the next thing I did with it So the first one, because I have lots of tomato I'm, I'm making into paste, the first one I strained wasn't added. I didn't add the um, beetroot to it. Then the second one I added, however, both will go into the same pot. So at this point, I place the pot over the stove and start cooking it. So guys, after cooking it for some time, you notice there are still lots of water in it. So the next, I'm going to allow it to cool down a little. Then the next step, I'm going to um, place my cheese cloth, um in a bigger bowl. Then this is my tomato paste. I just finished cooking and I'm going to pour it into the cheese cloth. And the process, this process is after pouring it into my cheese cloth, I'm going to 
look for something to place it above it so that it has time to drain the remaining liquid from it. So this is it. I'm going to leave this um, overnight until the, the juice from the tomato is completely drained out. And guys, this is my tomato. Um, sometimes you can also add um, squeezing it, um, but I prefer not squeezing it at all. Let it drain completely on its own. And here, here are the seeds I got from the tomato. You can use it to make different types of sauce. So this is my tomato, guys. At this point, this is the final look. And um, the next, what, how, do, how I preserve this? I'm going to look and um, put it into smaller zip lock bag bag and i'll place it into my freezer whenever i need my tomato paste i just bring it out and allow it to defrost and i'll use it to make um, um whatever thing i have in mind making my stew jello fries and different types of sauce for um cooking so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share give a thumbs up and see you in my next tutorial bye